If you want to hike the Olympics, you have to be ready to have an adventure. You ain't ready, don't even attempt it, man. You're just wasting your time. You just have to let go and just be unfettered by fear. Olympic National Park spans across Northwestern Washington and it encompasses almost a million acres. It still amazes me just west of Seattle. I mean, one of the country's most vast and opulent cities is a rainforest. The air is really dewy and the trees are this really, really crisp, vibrant shade of green. The streams were just crystal clear. It's like you're walking through a fairy tale and you're just waiting for like a dwarf to pop out. The park has its own ecosystem, so the weather is constantly changing. If you're not prepared, it will beat you down. By the time I had got to the Olympics, I was already on this solo venture of doing the Pacific Northwest Trail for over two months. The Olympics was my last hurdle. So after crossing over the North Cascades, then hiking around Baker Lake, going over Deception Pass, then catching a ferry to Port Townsend, I finally made it to the Olympic National Park permit office. This is it. <laughs> this is what I've come for. <laughs> I work the best when I can just get there and figure it out. Planning the next nine days, it was really challenging because it's like mileage. I don't know how many miles I'm gonna be able to do because it's, I'm gonna be climbing up some steep hills. That was actually quite painful, but I got my permit. So we're set. So hopefully I can make my camps. <laughs> Probably not, let's just be honest with ourselves. <laughs> this is where I have to go, but this is an electric fence. <laughs> We did it. Oh, there's so many cobwebs just hanging over the trail. I walked right through a spider web and I just felt the web all over my face and I was like trying to go like this to get it off. And then I went like this and I felt like this chunk and it was this massive spider in my hand. I'm like, wah. When I finally crossed the border and got into the park, you really begin to realize you're somewhere very, very special. And I remember that first night I had to deal with an animal I've been dealing with a lot on the PNT. Freaking mice put a hole in my tent. Those mice were like, they were jumping on my tent last night. Like I see them scrambling on the outside and I would, I would like, I'd pop and I hit them and I, I hear them land like what's doing that the second day i woke up with a pounding headache i think my body at that point was just really starting to shut down at this point everything is just wet everything is just soaking so it really doesn't matter if i put wet socks on because they're just gonna get wet in like 10 minutes my gear is at its max and i'm pushing it a little bit further When you get to these high points in the park and you're able just to look out for miles and miles and miles and just see its vastness and the, how the clouds are just sort of dancing around you like doing a harmonious waltz, it's pretty spectacular. It's coming up super, super fast. Look at that. All right, I gotta move. These clouds are coming in really, really fast. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. My head's feeling better than, than it was all night. That was a freaking rough night. I get another 10, 12 miles from my camp. So, this is what I'm looking at right now. Just literally in the middle of trees. Okay, so today I came across this, zigzagged zigzagged up this massive thing to here hidden pass heck yeah yes we have fire ah! there was one memorable night going through the olympics which was one of my most memorable nights on trail i was just alone in olympic national park with mountains all around me i made a fire it was fantastic i'm attempting to make a fire have dinner and chill out because my body is done. I'm making mac and cheese tonight, so 
I'm excited. Cause I love me some mac and some cheese. I see clouds coming in. All right, I gotta go so I can manage dinner and make sure Olympic doesn't burn down. All right, this is what we're going up. This right here. That is freaking steep. Let's do this. I remember on the third day I met this really, really cool older man and he was a school teacher and he had just retired and he's just enjoying his retirement and he was out on a day hike. I do it all the time. Go on. <laughs> hey, uh, I gotta stop every now and then. Bring my heart rate back down and I'm sweating profusely and it's really cold outside. So I just gotta calm my body down. Me and this older gentleman, we got to Constance Pass and then we kept hiking up and up and up and when we got to the top of this mountain, I looked out to the horizon and I couldn't see six feet in front of me. Um, that was sort of heartbreaking because I, people kept telling me how beautiful the Olympics was. And then when you get there and you can't see anything, it's, it's sad, but I felt the beauty. I felt it. This is pretty wild. I just, you can't see anything. I can't talk, I'm so, my mouth is so numb. Woo! This is the cold I was talking about when I said, or maybe I said this to myself, I was like, oh, it, you know, it's not as cold as I thought it would be. This is that cold that I was talking about. It hit it, and I'm freaking freezing. I'm a little pissed because you guys, we want to see the views were just freaking spectacular up there. So, I didn't get those views, but there's gonna be more views. All right, let's get down and get out of this. It's, it's, it's freaking, it's wild. It's so cold. Olympic National Park, oh man. Man, you're getting me good. You're getting me good. The sun. <laughs> I haven't seen the sun in like five days. Ah, oh. oh, the sun. So gotta keep moving. Oh, here we go. Gotta keep moving. Okay, despite it being so wet the last couple days, this game's it's pretty amazing. Look, I'm right by the river. My tent. Making some coffee. Okay, so I am dealing with a very small food situation. Um, I have enough food for about two more days and it's definitely gonna take me at least three days to get out of the park. So I think I'm just gonna hightail it out of here and just maybe not eat the last day. So I'm just sparingly trying to eat as little as possible for the next like two days. It's okay, I just wanna get out of here and get to the ocean. So all I wanna do right now is just get to the water. The last few days in the Olympics were sort of a blur. I didn't really film a lot because I was just so tired and I just wanted to get through it. I was in a really bad mood. I know the Olympics is such a beautiful place and I really appreciated um, what it is, but I just wanted to get out of there. I wanted to get out of there as fast as possible. I was in so much pain. Here we go, back at it. Got a little bit of sun today. Oh man, what is this, day four, day five of the Olympics? Oh God, this is, this is miserable. Oh man. It just stopped raining for a second. So I can catch my breath. Okay, gotta keep going. I didn't realize it at the time too, but I developed a, a mild case of trench foot. My feet were hurting so badly. It felt like knives were jabbing the bottom of them, but I didn't realize it was trench foot. I didn't know what trench foot was. I just thought I was just tired. Um, but the last day of hiking through the Olympics, a ranger saw me and, and checked me and said, you've got to get off the trail, you're done. Like, you're, if you continue to hike, you're gonna start losing toes. I was like, yes, sir. And I remember the next day I got up, packed all my stuff and put my chacos on and, and started hiking. I, I was gonna finish. At that point, I was 15 miles from the ocean. 
my f my toes could have fallen off and I would just would have picked them up and just put them in my bag and just continued walking. I, I was gonna finish. We got 16 miles and then I'm gonna hit the coast later on tonight. And then I have uh, like a four day hike up the coast to get to the official end. But along the coast, you need a bear canister. So I'd like to welcome back Mr. Bear Canister, which I had sent to me. So I'll be carrying a bear canister for the next three days, which I absolutely love. Here we go. Last four days. Last four days. Oh my god, I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to see the ocean. Ah! Oh, I'm so excited.